We're headed to the skies, my friends. Make sure that your seat belt is buckled on tight, because we're headed to the land of Milspec 3899. Oh yes, if you weren't aware, this is a high-tech webcast. Hi, I'm Amelia Dalton, host of Chalk Talk. Size and weight are critical design considerations when it comes to military and aerospace applications. One way to minimize weight and size in these kind of designs is to take a closer look at your choice of connectors. In this episode of Chalk Talk, I chat with Anthony Annunziata from Amphenol Aerospace about the Series 5 Next Generation Connectors from Amphenol Aerospace. We investigate the size and weight advantages that these connectors bring to military and aerospace applications and how you can get started using the Series 5 in your next design. And before we get started, don't forget to click that link. There you can find even more information about this topic from Amphenol Aerospace. Hi, Anthony. Thank you so much for joining me. Oh, it is my pleasure to be here. Thank you, Amelia. Absolutely. Okay, so we're talking about the Series 5 today. But before we get started, Anthony, you have a video to show this connector in more detail, right? Yes. So essentially, this connector is to allow our customers to no longer have to choose between size, weight, and performance of the connector that they're choosing for their military or aerospace avionics applications. And this short video is a good introduction to you know, why we have developed the product. For too long, aerospace engineers have had to compromise on their connectors to choose between size and strength, between signal density and operating voltage, between environmental performance and ergonomics. But a lot has changed since 1964 when the D38-9 spec was first published, and we at Amphenol think it's about time for connectors to change too. So we redesigned the classic circular from the ground up to meet the rigorous demands of the 21st century. To be smaller, stronger, and more capable just like the platforms they're designed to connect. Because it's time to stop making compromises. It's time for Series 5. Visit mauser.com for more information. Why did you develop this product? What kind of industry challenges were you looking to aim to solve with this release? Well, you know, it's really interesting because I've been working in the industry now for nearly a decade. And, you know, our bread and butter connector series are really these D38 triple nine connectors. You know, they're sort of the industry standard circular that you can find in any commercial or military aircraft on the planet, you know, by the dozens and dozens. And it's been in use for so long. You know, this technology has really existed since the 60s. And over time, the military specification that really has, you know, birthed these connectors has evolved with the aviation industry over the course of the last 50 years. And it's grown and it's changed. And the way that the connector specs were written and the way that the tests to validate performance to those specifications were written is really the product of decades of really detailed engineering work. And so when we went out, you know, of course, with the hubris that we have with, you know, being, you know, new employees in research and development, we went out and asked the industry, you know, what could we be doing better? What needs to change about these standard connectors that are being used across the industry today? And the feedback we got, we were pretty stunned with because time and time again, years of this research really resulted in the response that essentially nothing in the spec really needed to be adjusted and that it was, in fact, a product of the industry and the industry was really happy with it. However, from a performance perspective, everything was great. The connectors work, they're very reliable. And, you know, everyone is really happy with the peace of mind they get by designing one of these connectors in with such a long and, and storied pedigree. However, you know, they are a little bit big and they are kind of heavy in a sort of modern context. These are not the most delicate connectors. And so that was basically what we left this research with the understanding that nothing about the 38999 spec really needed to change in order to meet the demands of the industry. 
But the connectors themselves needed to be smaller and they needed to be lighter. And it was that basic premise that really started our journey into the development of this product and informed all of the decisions that we made as we began to design this 38999 next gen connector from the ground up. Okay, so Anthony, can you give me some further details about the Series 5? What kind of benefits does this connector bring to the table? What you see on the screen here probably looks incredibly familiar to the engineers in the industry who have been dealing with 38999 interconnect, you know, for probably their whole careers. And that is by design, of course. Most of the components that you see here displayed are, in fact, you know, taken from the design elements, the design language that we use in the development of this product were taken directly from the analogs in the mil spec connectors that exist today. So things like the triple web wire seal that you can see over here on the left of the connector, that is the standard, you know, 38999 wire web seal design. And in fact, the insulators themselves, the entire what we call the sandwich assembly that insulates and retains the contacts inside the connector, that is a 38999 qualified insulator. The materials that are used, the manufacturing processes, in fact, the equipment and the tooling that are used to manufacture them are all used in addition to manufacture 38999 qualified insulators in both series two and three. So, you know, that and so many of these other elements that we've been able to work into this design are very familiar, high performing contact insulator and shell designs. Another example is the M39029 qualified contacts. So this connector does not use any kind of custom contact. You don't have to buy an Amphenol proprietary contact. You can go and you can use off the shelf today an M39029 qualified contact and it is compatible with this connector series. The same thing goes for the EMI spring that we use. The same thing goes with the full metal clip retention mechanism that we're using in the connector series. So we have taken basically the standard dielectric design, the standard insulator design from a series two and a series three connector, and we've modernized it and shrunk it. And we'll get into more detail about the actual size and weight benefits that we were able to achieve. Excellent. Now, you also have another video that goes into the key features and benefits in greater detail. Is that right? Yes. And personally, Amelia, I love this video. So it's just a few short seconds that really go into the details for, you know, what advantages you can see for using this product. Using the all-new Series 5 connector from Amphenol Aerospace, the evolution of the storied 38999 connector series, it's denser, lighter, and more capable than any circular that's come before. Designed precisely around the requirements of modern military and aerospace platforms, the Series 5 offers all the advantages of a truly miniature circular with none of the drawbacks. With Amphenol's Series 5 connector, you'll make no compromises. You can now save space and weight without sacrificing signal density or operating voltage. Series 5 connectors meet every performance requirement in 38999 and can handle higher operating voltages, but are 20% smaller and 50% lighter. The Series 5 connector family uses single-piece insulators with metal clip contact retention that are not only qualified to 38999, but are available in all the same patterns and contact counts. Triple web grommets and radial main joint gaskets ensure excellent fluid ingress protection and maximum shell-to-shell -shell conductivity. Series 5 is fully compatible with existing M39029 pin and socket contacts and are scoop-proof, which prevents damage to the contact interface during mating. Standard accessory threads allow the use of existing M85049 compliant back shells and accessories. Smaller, lighter, and better performing. Don't compromise, just use Series 5. Visit mauser.com for more information. So Anthony, size and weight are very important considerations in these types of designs, right? How can the Series 5 help me when it comes to size and weight? Yes. So that is really sort of the secret sauce of this. You know, we've spoken a lot about the pedigree of the connectors and the pedigree of the design. That's to sort of just set the baseline to establish for the industry that our intent for the product is for this to be a true drop-in replacement 
for 38999 connectors that are being used today without sacrificing any performance requirements. However, there's got to be something beyond just them performing the same in order to excite people for using the product. And of course, that is this considerable size and weight reduction that we were able to achieve on the design. What you can see here on this little demonstrator that I like to call the junction box, these connectors that you see next to one another are the Series 3 analogs to the Series 5 connector sizes. So at the very bottom left of the slide is sort of the wow factor, which is if you look closely, you can see that that Series 5 connector to the left utilizes the exact same insulator as the Series 3 connector on the right. It's not just the same number of contacts put into a smaller package. It is, in fact, the same insert put into a smaller package that uses the same M39029 pin contacts that you can install into that connector and save yourself about half the weight of the assembly. So even beyond that, even beyond this, you know, sort of, you know, what I like to think, you know, I may be a little biased, but I like to think it's a sort of astonishing adjustment in the size of the connector. But if you were to go and take a 38999 harness off of an assembly today and they had um, pin contacts in this plug, you could chop the 38999 Series 3 connector off the end of this harness, restrip the wires, terminate the same pin contacts to that harness, and then pop that exact harness and those contacts into the back of a Series 5 connector without making any other changes to your design. So it really is truly a drop-in replacement that allows you to save somewhere between 34 and 47% of the weight of the connector. We achieved that via a modernization of the metal components that are used in the design, taking advantage of 50-year newer machining technology to hold better tolerances and to get better threads with fewer burrs and all of this stuff, we were able really to shrink the wall thicknesses in a way that allowed us to, you know, still efficiently manufacture the part, but we took so much aluminum out of the design when we updated it. And that's primarily where the weight savings is coming from. And in addition, the actual length of the connector is about 20% smaller overall, but also you see a roughly 20% decrease in the diameter, the largest diameter on the coupling nut. That is in fact also shrinking by about 20% for the four sizes that you see here. So, Anthony, there are other standards you've used in the design to help harness engineer spec the product in, correct? Yes. A key element of this connector series is allowing it to be as easy as possible to serve as that drop-in replacement for existing 38999 Series 3 connectors. So in addition to the really important elements of continuing to use M39 or 29 contacts, which we were able to achieve with the design, we were also able to include a standard Series 2 accessory thread on the back. And what that allows us to do is avoid all of the cumbersome and expensive custom back shells and accessories that occasionally have to be used on similar parts. You know, when you leave the mill spec, it can sometimes get a little bit hairy out there in the world of accessories. So by using that M85049 standard accessory thread, what we allow the customers to do is continue to use the existing accessories that they are using today. No need for cumbersome, personalized or specialized proprietary back shells or accessories. You can continue to use the 85049 accessories that you have on your bill of materials today. Another really important part of the product that we were able to enhance over the course of this redevelopment was we were able to improve its qualification test voltage. So this is a connector by the use of single piece insulators, which are not required by the mill spec. We were in fact able to improve the voltage ratings that we qualified this product to both at sea level and at altitude. Excellent. Now, what kind of options do I have when it comes to the Series 5? Okay, if this presentation has been interesting to you up until now, well, we're about to blow your socks off because we have really spent a lot of time prior to the release of the product line in making sure that all of those really popular 
adjustments, all of those really popular one-off kind of design tweaks that customers tend to use very frequently in 38999 are available right out of the catalog here with Series 5 connectors. So, you know, fan favorites, if I can use the term for a connector, fan favorites like clinch nuts, integral banding platforms, printed circuit board standoffs, obviously PCB termination. You can go out today and you can get bulkhead feed throughs. You can get hermetic connectors, protection caps. All of this sort of peripheral stuff is already configured and available in the Series 5 connector series today. So with these kind of designs, plating that is included can make a big difference in the lifespan of your design, right? What kind of plating is offered with the Series 5? Yes. So in addition to all of your standard fair platings, so you can get things like olive drab cadmium, you can get black zinc nickel, you can get electrolysis nickel, anything that you can get today on any of your favorite military circular connectors, those are available in Series 5. However, we also have what is essentially the culmination of over half a decade of chemical research. We have developed what we're calling AP93 or Advanced Plating 93, not the most inspired name, but there it is. The excellent part about AP93 and the reason that this should interest you if you are in fact designing connectors into what you expect to be a very durable, rugged design is that it is a thousand hours salt spray compatible. So that is roughly twice as long it can survive in a salt fog environment as your standard black zinc nickel and ODCAD platings can survive. It's also rated to a sulfur dioxide fog environment, a 336 hour rating for that. That is a more niche requirement, but we have been seeing it crop up more frequently in our industry. And so we wanted to make sure that this connector was compatible with that type of environment as well. In addition to the durability improvements from a fog environment, it's also a 200C operating temperature compatible connector and it's REACH and Rojas compliant. So it contains no hexavalent chromium. It contains no substances of very high concern that would require you to declare this on your REACH compliance forms. And then finally, because again, we're obsessed with backwards compatibility and we're obsessed with ensuring that this can be a drop-in replacement in your design. AP93 plating is backwards compatible with cadmium and nickel plating. So if you can only adjust the connectors on the box or you can only adjust the connectors on the plug, you can switch those to AP93 even if they are going to be in a use case environment mating to CAD and nickel parts until such time as you're able to upgrade the box or the cable, the other side. So that's the real advantage of AP93. The sort of secret real advantage is not only is it simply the next generation of plating, the next generation of REACH and Rojas compliant plating, it also allows you to gradually address the concerns of backwards compatibility and gradually update your designs even if you don't control both the box and the cable at the same time. Excellent. Well, Anthony, if my audience wants more information about the Series 5, where should they go? Well, the Mauser website is an excellent place to start. There you'll find all of the data sheets and drawings for the connectors that you can buy right now off the shelf. But you'll also find our entire catalog there that includes all of those really fun options and accessories that we were talking about earlier including caps and back shells and things like that. Uh, You'll find that all in the PDF document that's hosted on the Mauser website. You will also find a link to the Amphenol Aerospace part configurator, where you can go in, you can configure over 100,000 part numbers that again are built right out of the catalog, but in real time, download both 3D models and drawings for any one of those parts that you can build out of the catalog and uh, download those right away. So definitely there's tools online and then plenty of local contacts that you can reach out to if you have more questions. This has been super cool. Thank you so much for joining me today, Anthony. Thank you so much for having me. I've had a lot of fun. And before we go, you didn't forget to click that link, did you? There you can find even more information about this topic from Amphenol Aerospace. For Chalk Talks, I'm Amelia Dalton from EEJ. 
eejournal.com. For more Chalk Talks, head on over to the Chalk Talks section of EE Journal. You can't miss it. It's right across the top. Or check out YouTube, youtube.com slash 